Damn it. Alright, sorry, uh, I had a break in and maybe I will continue. I'll post two videos um, um, from the previous one. I had a phone call, so it, uh, it interrupted the recording. But I know I have the recording from that, so I'll just be posting uh, new videos. Uh, um, so here we have to solve this here. Uh, so what we have here is um, 1 over 4 divided by x minus 1 plus 2. How do you solve this? Uh, uh, this we say we call it a complex, somehow complex uh, rational function. Okay. To solve this, you multiply the numerator and the denominator by this value, x minus 1. If I multiply here by x minus 1 and multiply here by x minus 1, I've really not done anything to this function, yeah? Because x minus 1 divided by x minus 1 is 1, right? So really haven't done anything to this function. But what it does help me to do is solve this problem. So what I have here is if I multiply 1 by x minus 1, my numerator is going to be x minus 1, okay? My denominator obviously is the way you're looking at this is all this times this, right? Multiply by x minus 1. So I will take 4 divided by x minus 1 times this. That is going to cancel out, meaning I'm going to have 4 divided by x minus 1 times x minus 1. And then I'm going to have plus 2 times x minus 1, right? This will cancel out this. So what I have at the bottom is going to be 4 plus, multiply through this, you have 2x uh, minus 2. So, working this out, I have x minus 1 at the, bottom, at the top, and then here I have what? Um, 2x plus 2, right? So x minus 1, 2x plus 2, or x minus 1 divided by 2x plus 1. Okay. So if you look at this, if you look at this here, what is my, what is, what is the domain of this function here? The domain of this function here is that x is not equal to negative 1. Okay. x is not equal to negative 1. So, that is the other domain. Um, uh, well, basically, let's let me pull it this way. Because the first question is that you are finding the composite function of f of x. So this is your composite function. Okay. So we 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 we're solving the we're finding the composite function first, and then we go in and we'll find the domain. Okay. So to find the domain of this composite function, I do know that um, that I find the domain of this, which is one. So the domain of that composite function f of f of g is that I find the domain of this guy. Uh, I find the domain of this guy, which is one. And the domain of the composite function, which we said is what? Negative 1. So, x, the domain of that composite function is going to be x is not equal to negative 1 and 1. Okay? That is how you find, you first solve the, the, the uh, what do you call it? Uh, you first solve the composite function. Here, because you were asked to find the composite function and its domain, okay? What if you were just asked to just find the domain, okay? And like we described or explained in the previous session, it's the same thing. Um, so here your domain is this, okay? Your domain is that. Let's finish up this and I'll go back and just look at where you, you are just asked to find the domain of a composite function, but not finding a composite function. We did that in the previous session. So 
I'm gonna have to take this one off and then we'll do uh, the second one. So the second one here is uh, finding the domain of uh, f of f of f and f of f also translates to what uh, sorry translates to f of f of x okay that is the translation of this so let's find the the function let's find the uh, what do you call it? well and obviously we know that the, the the domain of f of x is not equal to negative two but now we're what we're trying to find here is a composite function, this one. That is what we're asked to find first. So to find that, I'm saying that uh, I'm going to have this, 1 over x plus 2, right? That is the function of f of x. And then I'm going to go back again and say anywhere in the function f of x, when I see x, I replace it with what? 1 over x plus 2. So then I have 1 divided by, um, this becomes x x plus 2, right, plus 2, because that's what the function f of x says, okay, and here is the same thing, I have a complex uh, rational function, the complex rational function, how do I solve this, I'll multiply the numerator here by x plus 2, and multiply the denom denominator here plus, what, x plus 2, okay, so, um, the, the numerator is 1 times x plus 2, and that gives me x plus 2. I know that. Divided by, basically I'm multiplying all this quantity here by x plus 2. So I take 1 over x plus 2 times x plus what? 2. If I do that, this I'm going to set it up here. I'm taking 1 over x plus 2 times x plus 2. And then I plus this 2 times x plus 2. But this will cancel out so I have 1 here and I multiply this throughout I have 2x plus 4 so at the bottom I'm gonna have uh, 2x plus 5 2x plus 5 so to find the domain I already know that the domain of f of x is minus 2 okay I just know that because we found out earlier uh, x said that x is not equal to minus 2. But then what is, the, what is the domain of the composite function? We're equating the denominator to 0. And so here we'll get x is not equal to negative uh, 5 over 2. So my other domain is going to be negative what? 5 over 2. And you're done. So... In here, you were, you were asked to find the composite function. Two functions were given to you. You were asked to find a composite function of f of g, and two was f of f, right? f com composed with itself, right? And so we did the first one, and how do you find that? You first, you, you first, um, you first found the domain of what? Uh, you first found the domain of g of x, that, that was, that was the first one that we did okay so you first found the domain of g of x and then the second one is going to be the composite function the domain of the composite function we found that and so that would give us was uh negative one and one and here also uh it was f of f of x right f composed with uh f of x so the domain of f of x is what negative two okay um and we that, so we keep that, and then we'll go, we solve the composite function, and then when we're done, this is, this is your composite function. When you solve the, the equation, this is what you get. And then to find a domain, you equate the denominator to zero, and that will give you negative two, uh, 2 or 5 over 2. And so your total domain is going to be negative 2 and 5, negative 5 over 2. So here again, you will ask to find the composite function and the domain. Now, let's assume that you weren't asked to find a composite function and you were just asked to find the domain of this, okay? You will just say, find the domain, not the composite function. This is what we did in the other video. So I'm just going to go back to it again, right? Now, if you are to find the domain of this, again, f of, this translates to f of g of x. 
and what we say find a domain of here this one and this was a domain that we found f of g of x okay f of g of x and you remember we found it we found the we found a composite function to get the other domain but so if you weren't asked to find a composite function you were just asked directly to find a domain of the 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 composite function this is what you do i mean again find the domain of the inner function which is here uh, the domain of g of x is x is equals x is not equal to one you keep that domain aside and then you go we know that the domain of uh, f cannot be equal to the, uh, the function g of x so you solve you solve for the you solve the the uh, the function g of, g of x cannot be equal to what the domain of domain of f of x and we know the function g of x is 4 divided by x minus 1 uh, what is the domain of f of x is minus 2 so you solve this and so when you solve this you have 4 equals negative 2x plus what 2 okay and then you have subtract 2 from both sides you have 2 equals negative 2 and so x equals negative 1 again it's the same thing that we did here when you found a composite function so you're not missing anything so here again your domain is sort of said that x is not equal to what negative 1 and 1 okay so whether you're finding the composite function first or you're just going straight to find a domain is the same work that you have to do you'll come down to the same uh, domain okay so uh, that is how you find the domain that is how you find a domain of a composite function and that's how you find the, the composite function and the domain so if the composite function was asked like we said cf was asked you will find a composite function and then you'll find a domain obviously if this is that you always find this and then when you find a composite function that is the second value that you want to exclude from your from your domain okay uh, so that is just that part of it um, and uh, okay now let's look at um, let's look at this where where you you show that two composite functions are uh, show that two composite functions are equal okay so let's try and show that uh, two composite functions let's show that show that two composite functions cf again are equal okay how do we show that assuming that we have f of x so assuming that we have the function f of x equals um, f of x equals uh, equals uh, 3x minus 4 f of x equals 3x minus 4 switch up on the color a little bit uh, and g of x equals and g of x equals one th one third x plus four or x minus four i think oh x plus four all right so it's saying that show that show that um show that f of g of x is equal to g of f of x okay meaning that show that f of x this composite function is equal to uh, this composite function okay so let's see how do we show that so let's take first 
Um, let's take this composite function first, right? So we're saying the function f, this composite function is here, f, and then g of x is what? Uh, obviously, is this. Uh, So it's x plus four. It's x plus four divided by three, right? That is what it means. Okay. So meaning that in the function f, if we see if we see x, we're going to replace it with all that. And here, so we have three replacing x with x plus four divided by three minus what four if we do we know that this cancels out this and so we have x plus four minus four which is what x so uh that gives us x and then we're gonna go uh the same way to do um the same way, so we have this to be that, and we're gonna also see if this one will give us uh, x. And if it does give us x, then you have shown that this composite function equals this composite function. So, um, because we don't have space, we, um, so g of x, g of f of x is going to be the function g, and then I'm gonna put, this is a function f of x minus three, minus four. But the function g, um, the function g says that it is, you take one, the function g says that we have one third, so we're gonna keep our one third, right, down, and then we're gonna substitute, we're gonna substitute x, which with all this, so this becomes 3x minus 4, right? 3x minus 4, minus 4. Okay, this, this is our x, right? That give us 3x minus 4, oh, and then plus 4, sorry, plus 4. Okay, so you have this, and again, we know that um, this is, you can open up one third, open up what? 3x minus four, open up that, plus four. That cancels out, and then you have this one third of a 3x, which is the same as what, x. So you've shown that, you've shown that you've shown that um, the function f of g of x equals the function what? g of f of x. That is how you show that two composite functions are equal. You solve one, if it gives you x, you go and you solve the reverse of that. If that also gives you f, I mean x, then you're saying that the two functions are what? Um, Th those two composite functions are equal. But if it's not, if you get x for one and you don't get x for the other, then they're not equal, okay? All right, so that is how you uh, solve this one here. Now, let's look at, uh, let's look at this, the end of the, the last part of this. Finding the composite function Finding the components, you're finding the components of a composite function, right? We're gonna find the components of a composite function. Find the components. Now, the components meaning what makes, what pieces, components of the composite function? What pieces make up this composite function? Composite function is what we're trying to find. What pieces? Okay. Um, so let's write a little bit here. 
let's say that I have, uh, let's find a function g, f and g, such that. So find a function f and g, such that. such that f of f of g equals h if if f of if h of x equals s squared plus 1 to the 50. So basically what we're saying here is the function the function h takes x plus 1 and raises it raises it to some power of 50, right? The function h of x uh, takes x squared plus 1 and raises it into some exponent 50. Okay? So well, what we're trying to find is that we're trying to find the function, we're trying to find f and g such that this equals that, okay? So basically what we're saying is that let f of x, let f of x be equal to some x raised to the power of 50 okay um, and then and g of x and g of x be equal to x squared plus one okay so here we know that we're trying to find the find the component of g of x, right? F and g. So uh, we let f f of x raised to the to x to the fifty, and g of x raised to g of x is the function x squared plus plus one. Now, if we're saying that this f of we're saying that f of, f of g, which translates to f of g of x equals h meaning that h is this h is x squared plus one raised to the power of 50 right what we do know is that i have the in the in the in the function in the function f of x, anywhere I see x, I replace with the function what? g of x. And in the function f of x, I have x raised to the power what? 50. So what I'm saying here is that I have x, I'm going to replace x with what? This. Right? Because f of x is, uh, no, this is not. Yeah, it's equal to this, which is h. So we have the function f, so I'm going to replace it with, this is g of x I'm writing here, right? But the function f of x says it takes some value x and raises it to power 50. So anywhere I see x in f of x, I replace it with this. And so then it becomes x plus 2, x squared plus 1, raised to the power 50. Okay? That is how you find the components of um, the components of uh, a function like this. Okay. Again, again, we know that we are finding what f of um, f of g of x. Meaning that in the function f, I see x, I replace it with what? g of x. Okay. So the, but with f of g of x was, was equal to h, and they said they gave you this as h equals this, right? h, a function, 
uh, h of x equals x squared plus 1 raised to the power 50. And the only way that you can get this one set up is if you assume that x, f of x equals what? a raised to the power 50. And g of x is this. In that sense, if we're finding f of g of x, then my g of x is here, right? My g of x is this value. So in the function f of x, if I see x, I replace with this, but it says raise it to 50. So this is how you express that. Now let's take one as another example. Um, let's take one other example. Let's take an example. Um, say find find f and g such that. Um, so find f and g such that h h equals x. Um, h equals 1 over oh and if h of x equals um, 1 over x plus 1 right So basically, we do know that um, uh, here we do know that. So the function f, um, this is the same as f of so f of g of x is going to be that I will let f f of x be equal to 1 over x and um, let g of x be equal to x plus 1 as simple as that so what I have here is that um, what I have here is that to find to find the, the, the composite function of f of g of x, meaning that anywhere I have the function f, okay, and I'm gonna substitute g of x. So g of x is this. But I know that in the function f, anywhere I see x, I replace it with what? x plus one. So there, that becomes one divided by, and I'm gonna replace this x by x plus one and you're done so that is the components of these are the components of your what components of your composite function okay and this is how you solve it okay so that is that and uh Okay, so hopefully this uh, this um, video also will explain more um, more of uh, session two to five, and um, I'm going to just um, I will take pictures of the homework instead of uh, put it on the, the well. Let me just go ahead and add the homework that I was talking about. So. I will add it here and I will add it as, uh, as so let's take, uh, this is our quiz. Um, I'll stop this one here and I will take pictures of it and, and send it. So this ends the, rec this ends the recording for session 2.5, sorry, 5.1, composite functions. All right.